Hello and welcome to Wolfman Gaming. What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. This is my Dark Pictures anthology, Man of Medan, Blind little, Playthrough, uh, and this is Target. episode four. Jesus, looks like the whole boat was lit up. What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is... Some are rich brat. Guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys. Can you all just shut up for like one second? Holy shit. Dude, bro, congrats. Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. With what? You blew up the grill. <laughs> He reminds me of some some actor, and I can't for the life of me figure out who. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers, then. Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. Well, and we're you, holding our own. The love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. Rude. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. Thank you. Ten seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball... Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? <laughs> the lady never tells. Well, uh -huh. let's just say, this lady was impressed. Uh, well played there, man, no? Wasn't Should we be happy that, that the proposal that took place <laughs> underwater? <laughs> Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mr. Julia Smith? Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel. But now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans. Eventually. Uh, let's plan it together. Now you're speaking my language. I'm taking lessons. Now I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Should we torture him and say no? We'll reassure him. Of course I was going to say yes, you dimwit. <laughs> I'm happy you did. <laughs> say nothing would just Except be cruel. Yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. Uh, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> like a rug so you can walk all over me. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Well, you're aboard... Well, hey, what do you call it? The brother? jib? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? Wow. You really do suck at this. On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I can deal with children. Oh. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. You are a certified dickbag, good sir. He is the type of guy 
I would never ever hang out with. All right, now that everybody's here, let's that take a look type, at that like, Maybe we can figure out why the won't take no here. front answer it type of guy. Okay, just I'll go get it. Hey. Go eat a yeah, whatever. So, how's it feel to be a man post proposal? Relieving, honestly. Uh, okay. Ah. Why are you doing on the dime? What do you know? I wanted to see memorable. It's not that memorable. I have to add you. Could it be that the camera may have caught something? Nope. I was hoping there would be like something in the photos. So, what was I supposed to get? Let's see. Current objective: get the nav pad. So, we going again tomorrow? Hold the phone. I want to see. Final test. Uh, if yeah. I check the premonition, the premonition of her. Involving her must have been getting diver sickness. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Oh no, not yet. I got distracted. So I'm guessing I made the right choice because diving sickness or diver sickness, whatever it's called, is quite a vicious thing. I think it happens when you re-emerge from a dive too back. fast and your right veins, here. arteries, your blood vessels expand too quickly so oxygen bubbles form in your blood and I think it can cause a cardiac, or cardiac arrest <laughs> cardiac arrest <laughs> so <laughs> not to be messed player. with alright everyone, check it out so let's see, Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? Yes, let's do it. What do you think, Adam? We'll find the Orbit? sunken ghosts. Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage, huh. and it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the lull. No, hey, they were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Uh, okay, let's be apologetic. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. Calm down. Okay. Maybe. She looks... <laughs> just hit me now. She looks like a discount Rihanna. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters, and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. Uh, happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use and I think shell. seamen, sailors, yeah, Let's hear it. are very superstitious. It's kind of messed up, actually. And this is me guessing, but I think if I had had a job... This story is true. Where I spend my time out right at here, sea in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. I would Wait, definitely true story? <laughs> would probably be quite superstitious. You know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. <laughs> the lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman, covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks, 
where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. <laughs> The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twists. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical and insists her parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an ax. Always an ax. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. <laughs> you know, sometimes you have to embellish the facts a little to get at the deeper truth. It's okay. Okay, so who did it? So, the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here. In the closet. Ha, <laughs> the husband, eh? <laughs> So is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, <laughs> no backseats. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. It's his own, right? Closer. Closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, so ah, gross. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. I like that story. Nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. <laughs> okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> Ten four, good buddy. And I'm out. Yeah, I feel you can't go wrong with a good horror story, especially ghost stories. They are usually quite good. I like to listen to a podcast called uh, Creepy Podden, which, which is a Swedish podcast where they read out creepy pastas, and the narrators on that podcast are really good at what they do and they are very good at choosing great stories so is shit going sideways now Is the fisherman from before? <coughs> I guess they are. Yeah, a lot of the stories that they read on that podcast are creepy as hell, <laughs> actually. It's one of those podcasts where you realize just how dark it can get <laughs> at night if you're sleeping alone. Uh, let's ungag her. Ow. Let's ungag everybody, get them breathing again. 
Oh, that's gonna suck. Duct tape on <laughs> beard stubble. That sucks balls. Because <laughs> the adhesive on duct tape is pretty strong. And the roots on your beard, at least in my case, is quite strong as well. Ah, this is guy who blocked the bottle with his face. <laughs> Strength in numbers, right? We gotta get untied. Right now. <laughs> Shit. It's not good. Come on. <laughs> ah! Fuck off. Ah! I'll be back for you later. <laughs> Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. He has a really deep voice. <laughs> like it sounds pitched down. <laughs> it should be like a blues singer or something. Not terrorizing douchey tourists in the middle of the night. <laughs> You gotta be a little defiant. That adds character to his face, don't you think? We finish with him later. <laughs> <laughs> Chicks take scars, right? <laughs> We did smack that dude across the face with a bottle, so him playing it cool is more than you could hope for. Not pretty anymore. Wait, wait, no, Alex! Stop it, let her go! You bastard! Hey, dipstick! Shut the fuck up. Dipstick! I don't think they're gonna hit her. They have an influence. Bush sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with them. Did you see my brother? 
No. But I'm, I'm sure he's fine. These guys probably just want money or something. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take them by surprise. Okay. They're coming. Who is that? I saw a man in a suit with like a cowboy hat. Are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. Alex, I'm so sorry. What? What is it? They took my ring. <sighs> Should we, uh, Screw their it's ring. Okay. It's okay. Who gives a shit about the ring? <laughs> And that is a great time to end this episode. And we'll find out the next time. And until then, I want to thank you so very much for watching. And I will see you again in my next video. So until next time, this is the Wolfman signing off.